not only about the money. Don't be scared to dream big. It's okay to be not okay. Hi, I'm Yin, founder of Gong. For those who don't know Gong, we are a demi-fine jewelry brand that creates high-quality, timeless, elegant, classy pieces. So I'm sure that you guys are very curious why we are here today. So personally, I went through different stages of life, up and downs, and I realized the importance to embrace every part of ourselves, which this is the message that I wanted to always share to the people out there. In Gong, we believe in wearing jewelry not just for outer beauty, but also for the inner beauty to be expressed. Through the different journey that we women go through, it shapes our inner beauty. We may wear different jewelry to symbolize different seasons, as each day we have different feelings and emotions through up and downs, and it expressed by the way we dress ourselves in the external beauty pieces that we put on. Throughout this journey, I've met some ladies that I've connected with. To celebrate International Women's Day, I would love to have them to share their thoughts through their journey and what pieces of gold represent them. So let's welcome our ladies today. So who want to go first? So hi everyone, I'm Zian here. I'm a founder of Lee Provision and Locus. So for those that have been to all these outlets, I'm literally the face of all these outlets. So what do I do? Um, literally the PR person and also the trainer of all outlets on our basic hospitality in our outlets to make sure you have a great experience. Hi, my name is Eka Aziz. Um, I'm from Honest Hour. So we're essentially mm -hmm. a nail parlor that is located in TTDI. Right. Um, we're a living room sort of like concept of a nail parlor. Um, and we use non-toxic nail polishes um, that agree to prioritize well-being and health when it comes to like taking care of your nails. Hi everyone, my name is Catherine. I'm the founder of Akateri. I'm an artist and also Akateri is a texture art studio where we are not only focusing how to teach you how to learn about texture art, we're also focusing about your inner health, your wellness because in Akateri, we highly encourage our um, students or whoever who comes in to play. Let the freedom and space to guide you to create. It is not only about the art, it's more about the journey. Yeah, so this is what we do. So, it is oh. <laughs> so before we start our sharing today, so the team for the International Women's Day that we wanted to um, emphasize is be your own her, like be yourself. Mm -hmm. really embrace every part of it. So we all know that we all go through life up and downs. So sometimes we forgot how important is embrace life, right? Mm -hmm. So I have some question for all of you ladies. Pretty satisfied with my current stage right now. But definitely, you know, human beings, we definitely want more. So I feel that like embracing every stage in your life, accepting whatever it comes in your life is really important instead of avoiding it or even pushing it away. Hmm. Yes. So how do you overcome your challenge? Definitely in the FMB, there's so many challenges. I treat challenge as something very exciting and to be a better version of myself. Last time, if you ask me if this challenge that pops in me, I'll feel very frustrated. But then when you actually shifted your mindset into embracing that, oh, this is something very exciting. Oh, this is something that we can do better. That actually changed the whole mindset of how I handle with all these challenges and things. Oh, I totally can relate, you know. I was very a uh, masculine way of working type, so you know. <laughs> High five! <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. At what point, yeah. I was like, oh, what happened? What, what am I now? Now that I'm embracing in a way that I can, you know, be relaxed also, can yes. achieve things and finding the goal that whatever I'm doing now, it's, it's a process. Hmm. Last time, I was see sadness. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't feel it. Yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't. It's be, wrong to do it. Yeah, mm. shouldn't be here, here in my life. Yeah. I think the most important is the purpose. So all this challenge, it will come along the way, but at the end of the day, just slash it off. What is your purpose? Yeah, I, I think for me, happy is such a subjective thing. Mm. You can't really be happy if you're not sad, right? Yes. And so for me, my 10 months, um, I'm like you guys, 8 years, 2 years, <laughs> you know, so a lot. Yeah. I feel like I'm going through this fast track of self-development. Suddenly, I am forced to grow. Suddenly, there's no U-turn. Suddenly, the, the only way out is actually through. Even though I hate it, I still have to get out because no one else is going to give 100% other than 
our own self, right? Yes. Who's going to give 150% every single day if it's not us? Correct. You can't depend on like your staff or like, you know, everyone else, just us. Yeah. So the way that I respond to my life, it has also changed. Maybe last time I was a bit like, ah, oh, okay lah, problems, shit, I'm going to be upset about it. But now it's like, okay, challenge, what it is. It's just another issue that we have to solve, or sometimes you don't even have to solve it, you know? It's either just like, whatever, la, 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 just la, it's one good. Yeah, it's just like, okay, la, whatever, you know? So I am satisfied, but always can do better, always can achieve more. For me, I think um, happy or not, I think it's also a very subjective um, issue that sometimes we are happy, sometimes we are, we are not happy, but then we have to stick with the emotions that we have to go through. Even though we are founders and uh, we have to deal with it, I think acknowledging your yeah. feelings is very important because no matter you are sad, you acknowledge that you are sad. Yes. And you are happy, you acknowledge and celebrate that you are happy. Oh, yeah. Because sometimes we we women think that we don't dare to feel happy. Yeah. Yes. That's like we don't deserve it. That's so true. Yes. And like, yeah, because it's like we work so hard, we really want to celebrate it. And I yeah. can love it, you know, I really want to, to celebrate that sometimes. And if you are sad and it is okay to cry mm, and just true. accept and acknowledge the feelings is very important for me at this stage. Yeah. Yeah. That celebration, even if it's small. Yes. Yes. Going out and get a coffee for yourself. I yeah. Think that's also very important because we tend not to do not that. We're like, ah, uh, you know what, whatever, like, okay, move on to yes. the next day. No, no time, no time. Exactly. Let's go, let's go. Exactly. Yes. I'm always like, it's always a small thing. What to celebrate? I mean, I was at the stage that, what was what it booth to celebrate, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then, sad, you cannot, I, I, I remember that I've never cried for mm. a long time. Yeah. When was the last time you cried? Oh, Are they real? Yeah. I don't know. I was I'll cry, I think, um, it, on the weekend, last night. Yeah, last weekend. Yeah, not bad, not too bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> last time if they ask me, I always think that I cannot cry one. I mm. tell myself that I don't need to cry, I mean, what to cry? Then yeah. slowly, somehow I'm suppressed by feeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I yeah. feel like people will keep saying that we are very emotional. So I think, I think personally, I, I have uh, some judgment towards this. So I realize that how I judge myself, judge my feeling, it actually Stop me from growing. Mm -hmm. So you know, at this stage, I am really seeing emotion. Now that I've said, I somehow happy that I'm sad. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my god, god. feel the something. I, mean, I never really thought that at all. That is so. It makes me feel like oh, that is what the process is. Yeah. But I think what about I learned about having a business is also be present. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I realized that so many times that we always plan things yes. ahead. This is women. Mm -hmm. We all always, all the time, we try to multitask. Yeah. And when, for example, when we are sitting down, we are, so many things we are planning dinner, we are planning outfit or whatever it is. But then the most important thing is to be present and to feel that moment. That's, that's what I learned through the whole process. Even though you are busy, just be there. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys been in a situation where you're so busy during the day and you wanted to cry so bad, but you're like, hold on, I'm yes. going to wait until the end to cry. Yes, yes. And so you go on about your day, right? Mm. At the end of it, you just flush it off and I'm like, okay, that's it, done. Move on. Do you have that as well? I'm yeah, I always suck in like that. <laughs> so that the tears just come <laughs> down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's so true when you try to pull up, our chest actually feel a little bit tight. Yes. Which is so true and so, it yeah. feels a little sour. But no matter how hard you, you try to hold, at the end of the day, it, you must let it flow. Well, very good to hear from all of you. So, <laughs> in gold, we believe jewelry can symbolize you. So, we, we have gift for you. Wow. That we want is literally like, check it out and then choose which one that represent you. Okay. Okay. I realized that even though you, it's the same pieces, but it yeah. will show a different kind of vibe, different kind of you when you wear it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. let's That's see it. what you pick. Okay, I know. Uh, so far, I, I, mean, yeah. I am this definitely. Uh, wow. Uh, this. Everybody would choose a different one. Though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit unexpected. I can not know why. Why okay. I did it? See, Xiang, I do have like some jewelry for my mom, as you know. Uh, I hate the girl a lot. Oh my god, I'm like, don't be all. He's too. I'm like, 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 I'm
I'm not so much a very feminine person. <laughs> but recently, I've discovered another side of me which uh, a bit of feminine power, a slight version. Uh, the reason I choose this piece, should I show? Yes, yes. For Zin to pick this, this is uh, our latest uh, Valentine collection where actually the story behind this is created from exactly like the mixture of feminine and masculine power where I actually show up. Oh, that's how I feel. Yes, because actually, yeah. no matter men or women, so we have both sides. Yeah. But I feel that I've never needed a crying side of me, needed the feminine side of me. But then I realized it's all me. Mm. Yeah. So the message of this is really also to um, have everyone to know that no matter what part of you, man or woman, you know, love has no boundaries. This is our Valentine's collection. Oh shit. That the reason I picked this is exactly what I feel about this piece. Mm. It really represents me because half of it is my masculine side. So I'm a very doer, do do do. I just want a result. And this side of me is my feminine side. I actually use it a lot when, especially when I connect with people. I just somehow connect. Oh, yo. Yeah. yeah, that's good. It just yeah. feel. That's how I feel like jewelry can speak. You know, our inner beauty somehow, sometimes very hard to put in words. But I do, I do express myself through my um, styling. That's good that you feel that. No, oh my god. How about Pika? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, so I had a very hard time to pick because it was between this and, and the hard one. Oh, the hard oh. one. Oh, I think okay. the hard one is really, really you. Uh, yeah, we I just, I, I just, I just feel like this has a little bit of twist mm. instead of the usual stuff that I always go for. Mm. Instead of it being like just pearly stuff, right? It's actually repetitive with the golden Gold, lid, yeah. which I really like. It's simple, but there's a bit of surprise in there. I think that's just our my, my personal journey on entrepreneurship. It's always full of surprises, like surprises by that I mean problem. Yeah, uh, problems. Yes. <laughs> but the problems in a very nice way. Yes. Surprises. Yeah. Um. So that's why I picked this. I think you know it fits me. It's strong, solid. And I love it so much, it's beautiful. So I think <laughs> this one, it's very masculine. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I picked this is, even though I don't look like I'm a crier, I'm definitely a crier. To be honest. So, yeah. yeah, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. Yeah, but not. anything happen first, I'll cry first. Let me cry and then I will talk to you. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. This piece reminds me of being tough. My wardrobe has been all the oversized t-shirt because mm -hmm. I've been doing paintings and mm -hmm. mostly my shirts are all drenched in like uh, plaster or paints or whatever. But this piece, to be honest, I really feel like it brings out your personality mm -hmm. and the reminder of being tough. Because I think this piece is very neutral, the gender yeah. neutral, yes. right? I think like a man also can wear this, but I feel like it's the toughness and the togetherness of connecting each other, it's like bringing. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I Goosebumps. Pieces of <laughs> floor put around around it. You remind myself I'm okay. I, I feel like this is a very strong key. Wow. Thank you so much for it. For yes. I this one. The feeling. I mean, suddenly I feel. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to cry because this one. Oh, I cannot. Because <laughs> this piece we created for Mother's Day. That how you connect yeah, um, yourself. To me, I think I can totally relate. Um, since I'm growing up, I, I actually, my mom two years ago, she passed away. And then I realized that, um, you know, even though we are women, sometimes we, you know, we miss our love to be supported <laughs> around us. But I think this piece, thanks so much. I think I can really totally relate to it. So being this to be tough, and I grew up, didn't have any jewelry. And to this, it can also remind us of the embrace yes. of our mother. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for. I think this brings out a very strong message. Yeah. Thank yes. you so much for sharing, cause I've never thought that um it resonated you in that way, <laughs> and I can feel like you know suddenly flashback when I recreated these pieces, the the story where the connected like you say like the each pieces connected. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I never expected that royalty. Oh my god, this is oh. Sh you yeah. have to let it flow. <laughs> I don't know why is it, but but I guess it's really embracing. I can feel you, and especially catching when I see your story behind. I was like, wow, 
you know, I can feel your passion doing your art. Yes. yes. And being having having a mission is also very important as a business owner. The way where you start, what is your reason that you start is very yes. important. I realize that to build a sustainable sustainable business, mm. it's not only about the money. Yes. It's all about the heart in. It's all about the effort. Why why you want to put it? Like for example, in Akachiri, basically the reason that we open up Akachiri is also because of um. After our mom passed away two years ago, so my mom used to be a tailor her whole life. So me and my brother actually wants to create some three D looking cloth like textures as a remembrance of her after she passed away.、Mm-hmm. So we created all these pieces through our grieving process. So I think the story of、um, the reason why you start your own business. It's the mission that keeps you continue going every day. Thank you, Oyo. <laughs> I hope that it actually resonates you all, and then、yes. you are happy with it. Yes, definitely. definitely yes. Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly, all the path and hardship that we go through, it's it's the one that who made who we are today.、Yes. I realized that without that part, we probably won't be like this. Yes.、Mm. After having that, also that I always remind myself, it become very grateful that now at my stage, I feel everything that happened for a reason. You know, I think last time if I were to cry in front like that, I probably feel like I want to die and think as though. But now I feel like, oh, you know, the feeling is so different. Yeah. I think this this、uh, the moment that I started Akachari until today. I really want to share the message of celebrate your flaws. I realize that we women sometimes we always self blame and we always think that you know I, I shouldn't be like this. I shouldn't feel like that. And I just want to share the message that to be happy that. It is okay to feel sad, and it is okay to share with other people, so that other people can also resonate with what they are going through. So you just have to be happy and celebrate the flaws. And it is okay to feel sad. It is okay to in- accept the imperfections is very important. That's what makes us to be us. So celebrate flaws. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I think for me would be、um, don't be scared to dream big. Like dreams so big that your dreams are actually scared of you because I feel like we women tend to get shut down by a lot of people and we get affected so easily because yeah we're emotional people right. My advice would just go for the dreams even if it's big even if you think it's impossible it's usually possible. People are flying to the moon and back daily、yeah. now so we can definitely do anything we want. For me, being a woman definitely is. Not a very easy journey. We tend to want to be tough. We want people to look at the not so glam side. Mm. 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 Along the years, I have learned to be vulnerable, to surrender yourself, and it's okay to be not okay. Remember to seek support from people because. Yeah. You will expect a very different big return from a lot of people around you. Yeah. yeah. So that is what I've learned throughout my years being an entrepreneur. And if you know how to open your mouth, you definitely get a very unexpected result that you would never ever even believe in it. Hmm. Open your gold mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, you know, don't want to open mouth, but then that's where I learn. Definitely, we can do everything ourselves, right? Woman, right? So capable. But asking, receiving, is a gift. I think vulnerable. It's something、um, new to me,、mm-hmm. but I feel like this is something very powerful where we can embrace. That's where we don't self beat ourselves. Yes. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for sharing. Hey, 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 yeah, thank you. I feel a hug. Happy International Women's Day. Bye. <laughs>